Good morning. Hello. I'm having a lot of trouble with my podcast today. The pictures won't upload. The mute. The <laughs> this is the second time I have to do this. I don't know what's going on, but I'm having problems. Anyway, I have a poem for you today. It has a little bit to do with my childhood when I arrived in America. Uh, I was born in South America to an American father. So, uh, no, I did not sneak into the border <laughs> down from Mexico. <laughs> no, it's all proper. I did take a long time to become a citizen, though. For some reason, I hesitated, but I'm sure glad I did it. I did it when I was like 27. I waited 20 years. And boy, could this have brought me a lot of problems nowadays. Okay, um... I'm going to recite the poem and get it over with. This is uh, my teacher. It's called Mr. Ebner. Mr. Ebner was my first teacher when I did not understand the word of English. I was born in South America, just arrived on a Pan Am jetliner. He was so kind and patient with us. He can never be forgotten. He was the kindest man you could ever meet with a heart of gold for all to see. He taught us all the language of English so we could defend ourselves in this new country. My mom, while she cried when she left us there, it's usually the other round, it's the children that are, do the bawling, but not us, we were very sturdy. It was me and my older brother, he was always hovering. A matter of fact, he's still doing that, even if 60 years have gone by, he just will not stop it. With this teacher, we were in good hands. He taught us the alphabet one by one. He even taught us to play the harpsichord. What a time so long ago. Mr. Abner, I will never forget you. You made this immigrant feel welcomed in this country full of souls called the good old USA, a place for all of us to make a new home. Thank you. Please reshare.